do a lot of human body figurative type of things. I find the body really beautiful to paint. Throughout my course, I've learned more how to use abstract approaches, more like shapes and colors and more of a like conceptual perspective of things instead of just aesthetic. Not really a specific time that I started. A lot of it was watching my parents, watching like just creative people around me. I remember when I was really young, there was a painting done by a really well-known artist of my auntie and it hung in my grandparents' house and it was like, it was beautiful and I always thought I wanted to do something like that. I wanted to be that good. So a lot of my inspiration is mostly just what I see on social media, but like a lot of it is the people that are in my course and around me. Like I have talented people with me all the time. Social media people like Adam Hale and Kelly Maker, they're all really good painters, collages, and they're all really like what I draw my aesthetics from. You always have to think about your aesthetic and the way that you approach your art is a, like a very personal reflection of you. So everyone's different, everyone in this course, everyone has got a different aesthetic, everyone's got their different methods. But when you compare yourself to them, you should, should be doing it in a healthy way that's gonna push you. You shouldn't compare yourself unhealthily saying oh, they're better than me. When you have these moments where you think you're not good enough, you always end up in another work or another piece of art or an idea that you never thought you'd be able to do.